right guys, Coach Tanis here. And we had a little bit of a technical difficulties because uh, I noticed that my, uh, my microphone wire came out and it came disengaged and I don't know how long that lasted for, which is why I'm gonna get a wireless system pretty soon. Uh, so basically, uh, I apologize for the audio. I have no idea when it came out. I'm assuming not too far ago. So anyways, so this is the Christmas market here in Toronto, okay? Don't forget to like, subscribe, and share, okay? I'm gonna take you guys somewhere else now, okay? I thought I spent too much time here. I was gonna do some photography, but I'm not. So I think this is ending uh, today. Is this today's last day, is it? So you can see people here are lined up, okay? It's uh, 12.25, and um, I think today might be the last day which uh, I'm not really paying attention to because uh, I'm not really coming here too often when it's Christmas because it's too many people. I come here when it's I come here to relax and when I come here there's hardly anybody here. The time is just finished, man. So, anyways, I'm assuming today is uh, let me have security again. Hey, my friend, is today the last day? Hi. It is, eh? Okay. And what? Everything's gonna get cleared out tonight. So tomorrow we're back to business normal. Okay. Thank you. Okay. So yeah, I'm looking forward to that. <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna take you to this side over here, okay? So I usually come here when it's relaxing, okay? I don't come here when it's, uh, when you got people like that walking around, okay? I usually come here after work, get myself a coffee, no dessert. So what's here? Is this like a dessert kind of place? This is kind of more dessert. Guys, you gotta be careful when you come down to places like this, man, okay? This is uh, the gallery. Got gallery, gallery, gallery. Actually, the art galleries are really nice here. Okay, I'm gonna take this off me. I'm gonna put this back uh, so you guys can see. Cause why would you guys want to look at me anyways? All right. So now that's what I need. I need a GoPro. That's what I should probably go get right now. A nice GoPro. But again. Can't compare. So this is nice. It, it's nice outside. And why wouldn't you sit out on the patio? You know what I mean? Just why wouldn't you? Okay. And you got the the fire there. Okay. Sit down with a nice fire. And that's pretty cool. Okay. That's pretty cool. Again, alcohol which, you know, kind of forced on you to drink alcohol for some reason. I don't understand. Can you imagine? I don't know, like... Uh, I'm not going to mention the name, but there's a hotel that I go to all the time, and they kind of built something, and it's just... It's not alcohol-free friendly at all, <laughs> okay? So, I would probably go there every day, but I can't. What is that? What the hell is that? Oh yeah. Okay, I thought I'd seen it all, man. Okay, so this place here is another, uh, this used to be Coco 70. Actually, it still is Coco 70. It's a little dessert place. I think they do more, uh... again, you gotta be careful what you're eating, right? The big sandwiches, big, uh, I thought they were making like, uh, what do you call it? Uh, uh, what do you call it, man? Like those waffle things. Okay, so what's this? Oh, cash on. That's weird. Donuts, coffee. Okay. Uh, what's this? Tornado chip. Oh, that's what that guy was in. <laughs> Tornado chips. Okay. <laughs> uh, that seems so healthy. How much is that? Tornado chips. 12 bucks, 17 bucks, 17, 22, 8, 10, 25. That sounds really expensive to go kill myself with potato chips. Did I say that too loud? I guess people get really offended when you don't jump on their ship and say, oh, you know what? What do you want me to say? It's healthy? It, was that what you expected me to say? Yeah, eat it. It's good for you. Like, come on, man. So that's the Christmas market, guys. That's uh, another art gallery there. And uh, I'm not going to go in with my art gallery. Uh, no, there's no reason to go in there. Art galleries here are pretty cool if that's your thing. It's my thing. I like it. Uh, this picture has been here for about four years. Yeah, but it's a reprint. 
It's a reprint of a reprint of a reprint. I don't even know who buys it. I don't want a reprint. Give me the original. So, again, there's not really much food here, guys. It's more like hot chocolate, which is not really hot chocolate. Uh, I was going to say the chocolate place that I uh, was at, Soma. They used to make a real hot chocolate. He used to. Okay. Now, it depends what your real hot chocolate means, because your real hot chocolate might mean a lot different than... Uh, what I'm used to, and I can say in Toronto, yes. you'd probably be best not to put time and effort into looking for something like that. In but I know in Europe, I mean around the corner from my house in Greece, we had a place that would make uh, uh, real hot chocolate. Anyways guys, this is the surprise, there's no lineup for the heart thing, okay? which uh, usually there's a huge lineup here and as you can see okay huge line there's no line actually that's not really a lineup man usually there's like a hundred people in lineup i'm sure tonight when you come you'll see a lineup uh actually the reason why of course it's busier at night time because uh whatever but it's the last day and i was kind of hoping that people would be here they're not okay and um Please respect their neighbors and keep noise to a minimum. Yeah, they're just not screaming and telling people how bad their uh, potato chips are there. Thing. So that's usually when you see the distillery district, you probably see that uh, that uh, heart there, and people take a picture of it and blah blah blah. And I'm out of here. Okay. So if you didn't come here, you didn't miss nothing. Okay. And uh, if you're hungry, you definitely don't come here. Okay, because there's nothing to eat here. And um, yeah. And um, before you go to a place like that, you gotta make sure you know what they're feeding you. Do you understand? If you're gonna eat shit, then don't come here. Say, okay, you do an online search. Say if you're bringing your wife, you're bringing your kids, you're bringing your... Be a man and go online and see, hey, what are they selling there? What's for food there? Okay? And if it's garbage and you got kids, I guess the best practice would be Feed your kids real good before they get down here. And that way they won't want nothing. If you're a real gentleman, a real man, then you would have taught your kids that eating waffles and pastries and vegetable oil and putting ketchup and relish on your food isn't really a good idea. Your kids would have got it by the time they're four, right? Most people I hang out with that know anything about nutrition and feed their family about nutrition a, teach their kids that food is food and food doesn't have to have ketchup and relish and mustard on it. And usually you know what's in the food, knowing the ingredients. As you can see here, it was a saturation of hot dogs, uh, schnitzels, whatever you call them, sausages, pastries, cookies. So that's all it was. It was just fried or burnt food and expensive at that. And did you guys notice? Did you see anything Christmassy at all? I didn't see anything about Jesus Christ. I didn't see anything about Mary. I didn't see anything about Bethlehem. I didn't see anything like that. So that's another thing about North America where Christmas has nothing to do with Christmas. They're just trying to teach you a way to diet, a way to eat. If you're going to eat shit like that, you're going to fucking die early anyways, right? So don't worry about it. But for some of us that like to be full of energy and take care of our family and take care of the people that we love, take care of ourselves well, we don't eat food like that do we it's not even um it's not even an urge do you know what i mean but i'm saying for people that are actually getting into the habit to say you know what build a lifelong habit of uh deleting food like that out of your diet i used to live i used to be right in front of that okay and then you can see the sand tower up there okay and um yeah, so when you're trying to make these small little uh, lifestyle choices, okay, first of all, you should always be aware of what's available when you're going there. Because you say, okay, I'm going to a restaurant. You got invited to a restaurant. Okay, so be the man, be the person that's in control of your diet, your lifestyle. And you go online and you see what that restaurant or cafe or whatever food establishment serves. Is it in line with what you eat? Yes or no? If it's not, you can go. It's just you're not going to eat. Okay? Nobody's going to force you not to eat that kind of crap. Okay? Just like when I made the cookie uh, video, 
where people bring home those cookies, okay? Or you go to parties and people bring cookies and chips and nachos. Nobody's forcing you. Nobody put a gun to your head and say, you gotta eat it. No, man, be a role model and don't eat it, okay? Be a role model and don't eat it, okay? So you go and investigate what foods are served there. Then if it's in line with what you want to eat and your lifestyle, perfect. If it's not, you don't eat there. Simple, right? You're not going to go to the Christmas market now. Example, me, I just got a beautiful walk and I don't need a walk today. I don't need a walk, period, man. Okay? I need a vacation. Okay? But I got to walk over there. So for me, it was active rest. Okay? It was active rest and I didn't ruin that positive adaptation of walking around, okay, with a 50 pound bag on my head, okay, holding a 20 pound camera in my arm for like an hour. I didn't ruin the adaptation by having a sweet that will inhibit my fat burning. I didn't have it with sausages and schnitzels or whatever they're called, with God knows what in them that just raised my blood pressure uh, ruin my gut bacteria, inflammation, and with very little nutritional value at all. Okay? And I know a lot of people say, oh, you're losing muscle. I'm not losing muscle, man. Have you seen me? I don't think anybody that sees me would say muscle mass is a, a problem of mine. Okay, I'm not losing muscle mass. Actually, what I just did was a, a, a thing. Instead of eating junk there, like potatoes for 22 bucks, which is shit, garbage, okay? What else did you want me to say? It's unhealthy? Why can't we say what it is? It's shit and it's garbage, okay? By the way, don't forget to like, subscribe, and share. So my content gets shared around. So Google can show my videos. So if you're gonna go out and eat stuff like that, if you're gonna go out of the house, you always gotta make sure you know what's available and if it's not then you take precautions to a not eat there okay and if you're not gonna eat there that means you probably eat something healthy on the way there like this guy here okay with his pastries and stuff that's basically what's going on in Toronto okay so you think you're saving money now eating pastries and stuff like that but later on when you can't go to work because you got diabetes you got cancer you got some illnesses that prevent you from going to work and earning a living. And then you gotta start going on a welfare and disability payments and blah, blah, blah. You're not gonna save money, man. Okay? So, Coach Tennis out. That was the Christmas market. Did a little bit of a walk around, a little bit of a history. I love that place. I just don't like it during the Christmas period. I'm a Christmas guy, but I see nothing Christmas there at all. And it's too packed and watching people stuff their face. I see people stuff on their face with pastry there on a, uh, on a regular basis because they go there all the time. And you don't have to walk around Toronto too far to see that that's what people are doing, stuffing their face with pastry. But then when you see, okay, so this is a festive food, which I still don't understand, okay? And then you got people shoving hot dogs and schnitzels and whatever with, uh, you don't know what's inside them, okay? Uh, it's kind of sad, it's kind of sad sight for me. I saw it's sight that I don't pref I prefer to stay away from. So, and when I go to the distillery district, I like to go and relax. And it's hard to relax when you got 15,000 people walking around taking selfies and putting them on Instagram, putting on content like me that will never be seen. So if you guys can like, subscribe, and share, that way my videos can be shown, and hopefully you got something out of this. Okay. Always make sure you know where you're going and what you're going to eat. You're going to eat, not going to eat. You're in charge of your mouth. You're in charge of your health. Okay? Second of all, I taught you to like, subscribe, and share. Okay? And, um, yeah. And if you've never been to the distillery district before, which uh, <laughs> sounds stupid, but it's not. Because I know a lot of people that do not go there. Even when I force them and say, I'll take you. I'll take you there. No, man, no, 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 no. They're just too cheap to park the car, too cheap to take the bus. They're too busy posting shit on Instagram like the guy of a life, right? But actually, it's one of my favorite places to go, and I always invite people to go there, but 
So if you've never been to the distillery district, it's actually really good. It's actually even better when you can go up and down the buildings and check out the art galleries and stuff like that. I've never had a problem, man. Uh, the artists there are really nice for the most part. Sometimes you can catch them in action, just they'll let you watch, you know what I mean? And, uh, sorry. And uh, I think the South Market is open. So come on down, check out the distillery district. And uh, if you're gonna leave the house, know where you're eating, okay? Don't get stuck. And here's the ultimate tip. The way you don't get stuck is by not allowing food like that in your diet, period. I don't care if I'm starving on the ground, okay? I don't eat food like that. I don't care what happens. You call it a day fast, a week fast, I don't care. If you put me in an island and you put food like that in front of me, I'm not eating it, okay? Coach Tennis out, okay? Like, subscribe, and share.